You know, it's funny because they tell you usually you can't have more than one discipline. Like if one paints, you shouldn't be sculpting. It's, and it's so false. I think that in every work that you do, um, it is almost healthy to shift from one thing to another. It's like rejuvenating yourself. You know, it's like turning a page and, and I love going from these very uh, contemporary, pure forms to very um, organic and, and, and surfacing. And to me, it's, 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 it's two different bodies of work and I, I'm so happy when I can shift from one to the other. You know, when I get, I, I can't get, as soon as I'm too comfortable in, in a medium, I need to shift from it. I need to put myself in danger and know that I'm going into new terrain that I've never done and, and, and discovering and searching and putting the medium to its ultimate, you know, pushing it to the edge of what it can do. And to me, this is the most fun part of creating, you know? It's not when, when you redo a shape and you redo, even though you, you bring it to its perfection, which you never do anyhow, but when you tend to want to do that, you get into such a comfortable state of developing that it's not creative anymore. You're so comfortable in your shoes that you're just redoing and redoing. And I think that for me, I need to step away from that. So once I feel comfortable, I know I need to shift. And this is when I go to a completely different thing and I start all over again. And this to me is essential. It's, it's, it's being alive, it's, you know, it's a purpose of creating. There is one piece though that is not here with us in this room, but is in front of your home. There is a huge concrete sculpture. I wanted to do a big scale sculpture and it comes from, you know, living in a continent like Canada. I mean, you, you, you have this, the notion of big and freedom and, um, and concrete really, again, like the wax did allow me to do certain things, concrete allowed me, I, I, I'm, I love concrete as a base itself. I love concrete homes. I love, I love this contemporary um, mean. And um, uh, it, it was a trial thing. I wanted to try it out and it finally became a very important project that I did pursue and that I took to the end. And, the piece that is up front um, is the first of a series of pieces that I'm developing right now. Um, this one I've made a mother mold and we have edited in eight um, pieces. So there's going to be eight sculptures going around. But it's opened up a door to a lot of projects that I'm undergoing right now. So I have um, several maquettes that are going to be part of this large scale sculptures that are meant to go into corporate spaces and public spaces and so on. bronze sculpture, and I am referring actually to uh, the more traditionally produced ones, mm -hmm. uh, and that's the forms. Yes. How many copies of one do you make? It is a little different uh, between Europe and North America. Exactly. Uh, yes. When, um, when I make uh, the forms, I am only entitled to have a series of eight and four artist proofs. Th so there are literally 12 sculptures that are out there. And after that, the foundry, um, it's a contract that we sign and it's, that's how, that's a difference from industrial work to sculptural work. They break the mold. 
So once they have edited the 12 pieces, they break the mold, so it's lost. Now, the series of shadows and vessels that I have developed in Vancouver, um, these are one and only because I work them in wax. And wax, I don't make a mold out of it. So wax is a lost process of the foundry. So these pieces are one and only. That's right. And the wax is in them. It's there. Exactly. Well, the wax, when you, the wax, what happens is that they pour, they put the wax in slurry and in a sand-based thing and they make a shell around it. And this shell goes into a kiln. The wax melts, they put a lid onto the, the, the shell and they pour into it the equivalent of the weight of wax, a bronze. And this is how you have the bronze sculpture. So there is no mold. They break the shell and there is your sculpture. So no reproduction, one and only. While in the clay process, you do a mold, the plaster mold, and then in the plaster mold, you pour the wax, and the wax is, again, going through the process of the slurry and so on. So, therefore, you have a mother mold, and this mother mold can edit as many pieces as you want. In France, we're limited to 12 to be able to um, value ourselves as an artist and as a sculptor. And they're numbered pieces, so it's one out of eight, two out of eight, and the four artist proofs are for me to keep or to sell if I choose to. But this is it. We're limited on the number. I suppose in Vancouver they can, I think in North America and in Canada they're able to, they're not limited to number. It's just a different concept.